massive 5.9 million tons of lithium deposits have been discovered in India. The discovery has put India on the lithium world map. But isn't 5.9 million too small a quantity? Why is everybody calling it massive? For comparison, let's consider gold. As per National Mineral Inventory, India has 500 million tons of global gold deposits. But India is nowhere on the global gold map. Except, of course, as a consumer or net importer. This figure is about 5.5% of the world's identified total, which is currently placed at 98 million tons. Yes, only a measly 98 million tons. That's the total amount of lithium deposits that has been discovered so far. Lithium is a rare metal, so rare that it constitutes only 0.0007% of Earth's crust. And more than half of the total lithium discovered so far is found in South America's Lithium Triangle, in Bolivia, Chile and Argentina. Argentina has the biggest known deposits, followed by Chile, Bolivia, Australia, USA and China. That's how small the list is. 53% of all known lithium reserves are found in South America, in a little known region called Lithium Triangle, of which 21 million tons or 24% deposits are in Argentina. 13.88% or 9 million tons in Chile, 14.69% or 17 million tons in Bolivia. Beyond the lithium triangle, a few more countries have large deposits. This includes Australia at 6.3 million tons. Australia is also the largest supplier of lithium to the world, followed by USA at 6.8 million tons, and China 4.5 million tons. India is still the largest importer of lithium ion batteries spending upwards of a billion dollar in procuring them and most of that money was going to China. This means India need not rely on China anymore. Assuming things go as per the plans, here are the seven things this discovery will lead to. Significance of the find. Reduce the need for imports. Improve employment opportunities. Boost to the manufacture of rechargeable batteries. Boost to the overall economy. Save precious foreign exchange. And push for India's clean energy targets. Lithium is a key component in batteries for electric vehicles and renewable energy storage systems. This will also give India leverage in geopolitical negotiations. And that's the thing we are going to focus on. So now you can imagine what this does for India. India is the largest importer of lithium ion batteries, spending upwards of a billion dollar in procuring them per year. And most of that money goes to China. And this massive discovery will prove to be a game changer. It means India needn't rely on China anymore. And not just that, India can even push China, overtake China as key lithium battery supplier. Chinese hold over the market. China's stronghold on the global EV markets has even the US worried. And until this discovery, India might have had a reason to worry about as well. According to Bloomberg, China has a massive 60% share of global EV sales this year. Longer range models and surging demands for plug-in hybrids are contributing to the country becoming even more dominant. This is a huge opportunity for India. As countries rush to achieve carbon neutrality, lithium and lithium alternatives are keys which will unlock an emission-free future. Currently, China dominates the lithium supply chain, Beijing has tied up with South American suppliers, and its hold on refining places about two-thirds of world's lithium cell assembly under Chinese control. USA has been alarmed at being left behind. It decided to go against its own free market doctrine that it sanctimoniously preaches to the rest of the world by enacting a trade policy that is insulated by a trade barrier and has allocated funds to kickstart its own EV supply chain. While it does have lithium deposits, unlike China, it does not have foolproof supply deals with key lithium-rich nations. US, like other major economies, is desperate to ensure a raw material supply chain. With India heading the G20 summit, this gives India a lot of leverage when it comes to inviting investment, cooperation, and perhaps even technology sharing agreements. All the things that will help India achieve its clean energy goals. US is looking for reliable partners. Just recently, it decided to dispatch US Assistant Secretary of State for Energy Resources on what some are calling an unplanned and announced in a hurry trip. He is visiting India to strengthen cooperation on clean energy transition, energy security, and increased energy access across South Asia. He will travel to Mumbai, Pune, and New Delhi between February 13th and 17th. His trip was announced within days of Indian authorities announcing the discovery of lithium deposits in JNK. While we will have to wait to find out the outcomes of the visit until later this week, 
it is clear that from a net importer, India now could not only fulfill its own needs but perhaps even supply lithium to others. And control over more than 5% of the total supply of the rare metal gives India the leverage it needed. India Inc. has also outlined ambitious plans for battery gigafactories. Private players like Mahindra, JSW, Hero, Ola, Suzuki, Toshiba are in the fray. And then there are the existing car battery makers. State-run ISRO and BHEL have joined plans too. But it's Reliance and Adani that have made waves with huge ventures lined up. And this discovery will prove to be a boost to those plans as well. India has taken several steps to become an EV manufacturing hub, including allocating a sum of $3.4 billion in incentives to expedite adoption of EVs. India has set an ambitious goal of replacing 30% personal and 70% commercial vehicles that run on fossil fuels by 2030. Discovery of massive lithium deposits will go a long way in helping India become a powerful operator in the EV sector, not just domestically but globally. We will keep bringing to you the developments on the discovery and all issues associated with it. Please like and subscribe to the channel and do remember to share the video.